Conservatism bias corresponds to the reluctance people have um, when they need to revise their beliefs that they, um, when they are presented with new evidence. A historical example given in classes all over the world is the case of a physician called Semmelweis that gave its name to what we call the Semmelweis effect, reflex that is also often used to refer to conservatism bias. So basically, Semmelweis was a doctor who investigated into the reasons why death rates were so high for women giving birth at the hospital. He found out that if, as a doctor, you went directly from the dissection table, where you had hands in a cadaver, to the delivery room without washing your hands, well, the odds for the woman to die were significantly higher. He figured out that hands could carry germs and suggested that washing hands should be a mandatory step for doctors before entering the delivery room. Well, guess how his discovery was received by his colleagues, despite of the fact that he had data to back up his claim. With skepticism, of course. Those physicians considered themselves as gentlemen and they had a hard time revising the belief that as gentlemen, their hands could carry diseases. Well, in the end, the medical community understood, but at the cost of who knows how many lives. By the way, Simmelweis was locked up in an asylum for his crazy ideas and presumably murdered there. Another example I really like, because it's 100% about data interpretation, comes from the field of astronomy. In the 16th century, religion and ancient beliefs had such a strong influence that, of course, the false of the time provided us with magnificent examples of conservative bias. I guess you all know that the Earth revolves around the Sun and that we owe this heliocentric system to Copernic. What is less known, though, is that the other system that was at the time a competing explanation, the geo-heliocentric system of Tycho Brahe, so, this astronomer had collected humongous amounts of data on planet's position. He had more or less the same data as Copenhagen had, but however, the heliocentric system was contradictory with the philosophy of the Ptolemaic system of the time, where Earth was at the center of the universe. So, the necessity to abide by the moral of the time greatly influenced his interpretation of the data. And guess who is the most famous one now? Brahe with his geo-heliocentric system or Copenhagen? So the takeaway message is that, of course, you should be careful when presented with new evidence. You should examine them carefully before tearing down well-established theories. But still, you should always wonder whether you are not suffering of conservatism bias and clinging to old beliefs. It is time to let go.